All right, hi, Gemini. This is going to be your Sagittarius season reading. This is for Gemini placements, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, okay? So, good morning. Happy Sag season. So, we have conclusions are within reach, full moon, eclipse. Full moon in Capricorn, we have the end of a tough cycle approaches, and then we have new moon in Libra, a tough, I mean, a new romantic cycle begins. So you guys could be coming into a close of a cycle. You guys could be closing out a cycle here, a tough cycle in regards to love, especially. You guys got something new coming in. You could have Libra or Capricorn placements, or you could be a Capricorn or Libra with Gemini placements or Sag, or you could be dealing with any of those signs. But um, yeah, something is concluding, Gemini. Something's coming to a close, okay? Yeah, we got full moon in Cancer. A personal issue reaches resolution. So Cancer rules the fourth house. So something with home could be um, being resolved the end of December, January. Okay. So a lot of things are going to be closing out for you this year, Gemini. A lot. Okay. And then we have emotions are running high. Super moon. Okay, so you guys could be feeling a bit emotional at this time, or this could be people around you where everything, you know, your emotions, everyone else's emotions could be running high. I feel like a lot of people are kind of going, undergoing their own ch changes and, you know, tower moments, right? I think as a collective, everybody is. So there could be a lot of emotions running high. We got new moon and Aries. You could have Aries placements. You could be in Aries with Gemini placements, or you could be dealing with one. It says it's time to take action. So there's something that you need. Again, there's things concluding, right? So there's something that you're going to have to act on. You may have to act fast. Okay. So, you know, you may have some quick decisions that need to be made here. All right. So what's this conclusion about the thing A couple more things you need to close out before this new energy starts. Something new can be picking up for you at uh, the end of March or April. Okay. Ooh, we got success. Ooh, Gemini, we got success here. Conclusions are within reach. Yeah, some of you guys forgiveness and abundance here. So and release. Mm, enlightenment, transformation, new beginnings, embrace. Okay. So Gemini, I'm gonna touch on those things real quick in a minute but conclusions are within reach full moon eclipse some of you guys in order to obtain this success there's something or somebody here that you need to release there may be something that you need to let go of whether this is a person this is a, a place or a thing this is something here that you're gonna have to let go of gonna there's something that needs to come to a close a conclusion an ending in order for this success to come in okay so it's time to take action on a couple of things here before this year is over. Because I feel like by springtime, things are going to be really picking up for you guys in all areas. Love, career, home. Uh, you're going to be taking initiative on things. There's going to be success, victory. So you guys may not it may, you guys may not want to close out these chapters with these people, with this career, this job, these habits, lifestyle, whatever. But it's time. Because something has been holding you back. This could, you know. So... Uh, so there, so we got forgiveness in reverse, abundance in reverse, release in reverse, enlightenment in reverse, transformation in reverse, new beginnings in, in, revert, in reverse, and we have embracing. Okay, so I feel like Gemini, I'm going to touch on these before I go to the other cards, right? Some of you guys need to forgive someone or, or forgive yourself. Who did I say this to? I think I said this to Sagittarius. So you could be dealing with a Sag. You may need to forgive a Sag or a Sag needs to forgive you, or you just may have Sagittarius placements, or you could be a Sag or Gemini placements, however, which way it goes, or maybe you don't, maybe none of that applies to you. I mentioned it because Sag got the same thing. I want to say Gemini, your heart chakra needs to, something you need to heal something because this abundance in love career money whatever is gonna be it's on hold because there's something that you need to forgive whether it's yourself or another person or both something you have to forgive something there's something again release in reverse there's something that you guys need to release because with this enlightenment in reverse you're not seeing something there's something here that you're i don't want to say you're not learning but you're not getting it and it's and I feel like it's because you guys are resisting this type of transformation and you guys resisting this transformation is what's is is why your new beginnings are being put on hold or just not coming in or being delayed, okay? So what's this a personal issue reach a resolution? We got taking a risk. Okay, so there's going to be something here, yeah, but it kind of came out sideways. So I feel like Gemini, 
there may be a hesitancy on taking a risk on something because you may feel like it's not going to get resolved or you guys may feel like some of you guys in order for something to get resolved you're going to have to act fast you're going to have to kind of do something that you're going to have to do something different you're going to have to kind of take a risk you may have there could be movement here travel okay you guys could be moving sometime the end of this year maybe you could be finding a place or you could start the process of that all right but something something there is going to be a personal issue that does reach resolution but it is but not without some type of risk okay there's something that's going to need you're going to have to take a risk on something take a chance on something okay what's this emotion going on and we got inner peace Gemini. Yep, emotions. Yep. We got the two fishers here. Could be, you may have Pisces placements, or you could be dealing with one. You could be a Pisces or Gemini placements, but whatever this is, Gemini, super moon. Allow yourself to feel your, you know, ironically, the more you feel your feelings, the more at peace you're going to be. And I feel like even, I feel like through all these different emotions and all this different chaos, I feel like you guys are still managing to find your inner peace. And I also want to say your advice for Sagittarius season Gemini is the more, the more chaotic you feel emotionally, I want you guys to focus on seeking peace, whether it's doing yoga, meditation, taking a walk, you know, if you guys crying, letting some of you guys just need a good cry, let yourself cry, journal, talk to a trusted friend, talk to a therapist if you have one, talk to yourself out loud if you need to, but focus on inner peace during Sagittarius season, focus on, focus on closing out things and chapters and inner peace. And let and feel your feelings because they're going to be running high, but they're going to be telling you things that you need, and it's going to help you come to a state that you're gonna you're gonna almost feel a bit of relieved. The more you feel your feelings, it's going to help you kind of detach from things or people or move on from situations better. It's going to help you get out of this cycle that you're in. Okay, so allow yourself to feel your feelings because there it's a lot of them. You know, it's they're going to be high. So, and we got opportunity here. It was in reverse. So, uh, there could be there could be a possible missed opportunity if you guys don't go ahead and take the risk on something or don't close out whatever cycle or chapters with a person, people, place, or thing that is needed. So just be mindful of that. We got the success here for Gemini placements on the We got Amatrine. And you guys are the lovers. You guys are naturally divine masculine, divine feminine. So we have balance. We have balancing masculine and feminine energies. Allow your feminine side to creatively inspire you and allow your masculine side to give you the confidence. Yeah, Gemini. Ooh. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of you guys, man, once you guys balance out your masculine and your feminine energies, that empress and that empress and emperor energy within you, meaning using that empress, that feminine energy to create, to be inspired, and then that masculine energy, which is ruled by Aries, the emperor, and we do have a time to take action. So, you know, I want to say, again, using your feminine side to creatively to, to creatively inspire you to come up with ideas some of you guys there's a project that you need to kind of take the initiative and take the initiative on and get it started so there's a need to balance your masculine and your feminine energies at this time during Sagittarius season okay what's this taking risk <laughs> and then we have be gentle with yourself Rhonda Rodo Crosite. Anyways, <laughs> be gentle with yourself. You've been through a lot and need time to heal and recover. Yeah, some of you guys, you know, with this taking risk, some uh, we got black, we got a black panther here, and we also have an eagle here, and we got fish. So I don't know if those animals can be significant to you guys. But again, be gentle. I was telling this to Scorpio. Some of you guys may have Scorpio placements or you could be a Scorpio with Gemini placements. But be gentle. Don't be so hard on yourself at this time, Gemini. Something's going to work itself out. You don't have to kind of just... Something's going to work itself out. All you got to do is take the necessary steps and to kind of just take the risk and get started. And everything else is going to kind of 
it's gonna follow suit, okay? But just don't, just be gentle. You don't have to be so hard on yourself, okay? You guys have been through enough. So I feel like during Capricorn season, something is gonna resolve itself. Something is, again, as you take the necessary steps and actions, something is gonna work itself out. Just be gentle. These are gentle steps, nothing too crazy, nothing where you feel burnt out. What's this inner peace? Protect your peace at all costs at this time too. And then we, I don't really, what's this inner peace? And then we have Jade, wellness. Yeah, that, that was more fitting. Uh, the recovery of health and wellness is here. Yeah, a lot of y'all are healing something. And we have Tanzanite, ready to love again. You've healed from the past enough to open your heart to new love. So some of you guys are getting new love. So if, you, if you've got recently gotten out of a relationship, recently separated, divorced, or broken up with somebody, or somebody's broken up with you, I, I feel like it was... You know, it, it was meant, to, I don't want to say meant to be, well, maybe, but, um, if you know, if you're worried about that, you'll either renew love with this, that person, or you guys will get new love. As simple as that, okay? But I want you guys to protect your inner peace at this time because your health depends on it, Gemini, okay? Your health depends on the state of your mind and your heart at this time. A lot of heart chakra I'm getting for some of you guys. So work on your heart space. Take care of your health. Some of you guys could be pregnant. Okay, if there's any fertility issues, I do see you guys. Somebody here could be pregnant with twins or half twins or be a twin. But um, I do see health here. I do see fertility. I see growth. I see newness. I, I see, you know, again, just protect your peace by, by any means, by all, by just protect your peace by any means. Okay, some of you guys are recovering from something here where it could have really had you very emotional, Okay, again, your emotions could be running high, so you could be feeling very sensitive at this time, very emotional. But again, uh, there's recovery. You're going to recover from this. You've been through a lot, Gemini. I don't think a lot of people know that. You guys make it look easy. That's the problem. I mean, honestly, that's the problem, but you guys make it look easy. So people kind of underestimate, you know, the need for them to be gentle with you, or you kind of underestimate your need to be gentle with yourself. Okay, with the Kipper here, we got main female that flew out. Kipper, so we have military. Somebody could be in the military. You could be dealing with somebody in the military. Somebody, you, somebody's, here, somebody's birthday could be on the 22nd or the 4th. Okay, your life path could be 4 or 22. Okay. We got the house. Yeah, some of you guys are moving. Um, somebody's birthday could be on the 2nd or somebody could be a life path 2 or 11. Okay, yeah, some of you guys are getting a new home. Some of you guys are going to be getting a new home. Or something is going to be going in your favor. Some of you guys need to take the risk and apply for something here, okay? But you guys are going to be getting a new home. It's going to be nice. Yeah, we got high honors. Take care of yourself, Gemini. Somebody's birthday could be on the 25th, the 7th, or life path 7. And let's get one more. Oh, two flew out. We got Murky Thoughts 33, Life Path 33 or 6, or a birth, somebody's birthday could be on the 6th. And then we have the prison. Somebody could be, um, birthday could be on the 29th or the 11th, or somebody could be a Life Path 11 here, okay? And we got prison. So there could be somebody, or this could, you guys could be, a, and we have, hold on, the living room. So this is 21, that reduces down to 3, so somebody's birthday could be on the 21st or the third or somebody could be a life path three all right um some of you guys here you could be try not to let try not to let your mind keep you some of you guys are and you guys do rule the eight of swords and nine of swords don't be don't be a prison of your thoughts of your mind gemini okay you guys are the twins you guys rule two minds don't be a prison of your mind gemini okay don't because it could be deteriorating your health in some kind of way. Don't. Some of you guys are overthinking something. Again, your emotions could be running high. So you could be thinking all types of crazy thoughts. Again, focus on inner peace. Focus on meditation, breath work, yoga, taking walks, getting fresh air, things like that. Okay? It's going to be very crucial for you at this time. All right? But um, this is good, Gemini. You got new love here. 
okay so you are going to be you know don't worry you are going to love again you are going to you are going to have love and it's probably going to be better you know it's going to it's going to either something's going to get better than how it started or you're going to this new love is going to be better than your last so you know there's increase here there's progression here okay so um gemini this was your reading like comment and subscribe and i'll talk to you guys later bye